In my previous video, I did a video on how to use AirDrop on iPhone. If you missed that video, you can click here and watch it for me. In today's video, I'm going to show you another amazing way of sharing photos, videos, and files from your Android device to any iPhone. Without further ado, I have some tests at the last part, so watch this video to the last end. First thing first, you have to make sure that both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. In this video, I'm going to use an app called Airmo. Let's go straight to the App Store on the iPhone and download Airmo. So this is how the symbol look like. Click on it. Open the app after download. So this is how the interface look like. Start manage. So this pop-up message will appear. You click on open now. Another pop-up message will appear. Click on OK. So now that the app is ready to use on the iPhone, you go straight onto your Android phone and download the same application. I already have it on my phone, so I'm going to tap on it. This is how the interface look like on the Android device as well. At this point, let me show you how simple you can set up your MO. So on the iPhone, you see that there's more at the last button here. Click on it and tap on phone transfer and do the same thing as well on the Android device. You can see more at the last button here. Click on it and tap on phone transfer so immediately you type on it you see that on the iphone the android device name has come here and the same thing on the android device you can see the iphone name has appeared on it so if in case you see another name on the phone that means that there is a nearby device which also has this more on it so now you can see on the android device we have the iphone name type on it immediately you type on it you can see that your photo album your music videos and files has appeared on the phone let me show you how you can send photos videos files from your android device to the iphone so if you want to send photo, you go to camera and select any photo at all. You have an option to select more photo as well. I'm going to select these four photos and tap on send. So you get notification on the iPhone camera so you can see that all the four photos that I sent has successfully received on the iPhone so that is how it is let me show you how you can also send video as well you type on the video and tap on it you can also select multiple videos and send as well so I'm going to select only one and tap on send. So when you hear the sound, meaning the video has successfully sent to the iPhone. So let's go to video. In here you see the video in this video i'm sent. going to show you this is the video that i sent from the android device to the iphone 
Do you remember I told you to watch this video to the last part because I have a free tips for you. I'm going to show you another awesome way of sharing your videos, photos and files from your Android device to any computer. So here you will see open web address on your PC, web.airmore.com. So I'm going to show you how you can set up on your computer. On your computer, you can use any of your favorite browser. I'm going to use Chrome. I search for web.mo.com. So when you open it, this is how the interface looks like. You see MO, QR code, reader, and at the last part, you can see install MO app. You can also install the app on your computer. And you can see the languages. You can choose any language that you like. I'm going to use the English as a default. So here you can see the QR code. Now that the QR code is ready, you come back to your phone and type on scan and point this camera to the QR. When you are connecting and you get this connection failed, there's another option you can connect both devices. I'm going to open new tab. And on your phone, you see this three dot here, click on it and get the IP address. So I'm going to type in the IP address in the new tab that I open. Immediately you enter, you get a pop-up message on your phone. Accept. Now you can see the phone and the computer has wirelessly connected. So you can put your phone aside and go to your computer. So you can go to pictures. So this is all my photos on my phone. So I'm going to download this photo. You can see download symbol here. Click on it. And voila, the photo has downloaded. Let's try another photo. So this photo has been downloaded to my laptop. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that anytime that I draw video, you will be the first person to watch. Don't forget to also share this video to your loved ones. It's really me on this channel. I have two videos on the screen, you can also watch them for me. Peace out.